And now the bill seeking to render immunity to principal officers of the House has passed a second reading in the House of Representatives. The bill, which is also seeking to protect executive officers from any legal prosecution during their tenure in service, was also agreed by lawmakers to be tested in public hearing to allow Nigerians make their input. Lawmakers say an extension of protection to the legislature will help preserve Nigeria's growing democracy. But tomorrow, another person will be there. But when we look back, we should be able to say we have been able to stabilize this nation. Because the hands, this is the hand of government that given the power by the constitution to balance, to checkmate, to expose. But the leader of just that institution is free. There's no constitutional backing to guarantee him of saying the truth, of saying the critical matters when it is necessary. The wisdom of the drafters of this constitution when they were doing it was to create a kind of shield, administrative shield, for head of executive's arm of government, whether at the center or at the periphery, so that these officials of government may not be unnecessarily distracted from discharging their responsibility. If that could be a good reason, an acceptable reason to be embodied in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Mr. Speaker, I stand and I dare say that it is also worthy to extend this kind of protection to the head of Nigeria's legislatures, whether at the center or at the periphery. What is that that we cannot do on this floor and be held accountable or by the presiding officers that should be so desirous of us passing an amendment to include a clause that says there should be immunity for presiding officers. Mr. Speaker, I think it's wrong and it should not be allowed.